Hey, what's up guys and welcome to Xbox On. And as you may know, Xbox 360 games are constantly getting added to the Back Compact program for you to play on your Xbox One. So here are our favorite games that got added in December. All right, so first up we've got Catherine, which is one of my favorite games of all time, but also one of the weirdest games of all time. Yeah, like this one of the first <laughs> things I've noticed on the gameplay is it looks super, super freaky. Why has he got horns? What? And also, why is he in his boxes? And also, why is he being chased by really fat sheep? Uh, <laughs> it's very important. And bashing them out of the way with a pillow. So basically, <laughs> this, this game is made up of two parts. There's the puzzle parts, which are the nightmares, uh, which is what's happening now. So uh, you're being chased down by sheep and you've got to climb up these blocks uh, to make your way to the top. Uh, so it's just really addictive um, puzzle gameplay. Yeah. And then the second part of the game uh, is all about sort of uh, consequences and almost like a dating simulator. Like you have these two girls, we won't go too into it, but these two girls and you're like texting them and you're having a few drinks and you're making moral decisions as well. So it, it has two polar opposite parts to it, uh, both bizarre and it's a, weirdly compelling. It seems like a really creepy game. Like it, it is really creepy. Like you're chased by, we'll see soon, you're chased by these uh, these nightmare bosses. Yeah. You've got to have like a boss round. Um, but one of them is a giant butt. A giant butt. A giant butt chases you. <laughs> so, so let me just get this right. Okay, so it's like a, a one part of the game is like a dating simulator and then the other you get chased by a giant butt. Yeah, basically. Like you just get drunk and text these girls and then you get chased by a, a giant butt. <laughs> so, sounds like my life. I mean, game... <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> oh my so, God. It's game of the year. But like, this is one like, so what we're looking at now is one of those kind of moral decisions. At the end yeah. of each um, block, uh, climbing section, you'll get asked a question, uh, which is usually about a relationship, uh, sort of. Uh, Have you been told your standards are too high? Yes, and not that I recall. So, you know, what would you go for then? Mm, I would, uh, not that I recall. <laughs> <laughs> so then you'll get told like what other people decided as well, so you can see if you're an awful person or if you agree with oh, the Oh, so it's majority. like one of those games where you kind of have like kind of a 50-50 thing, and you go like, oh, 50% like this. Yeah, like are that. you evil or are you good? Oh, anyway, so. My <laughs> God, I've just seen this. Like, that is, what the hell? I know. So this is uh, one of the nightmare bosses. It's a, a giant, veiny baby who is trying to catch up with you so it can kill you and presumably destroy your soul. Why would a baby want to do that? Like, I why? mean, why wouldn't a baby want to do that, more importantly, Ben? Because it's a baby! <laughs> I mean, what are you trying to say? A baby wants to come and like, kill me. That's so, not very nice. So he's having like this moral dilemma about this, this his girlfriend who's, who's pregnant. So now he's having this horrible nightmare wait, about wait, wait, this wait, wait, baby wait, wait. attacking him. So wait, him. why is he doing like a dating simulator if his girlfriend is pregnant? Well, <sighs> that's... that's... And this is a complete <laughs> mind blow, but like, to be fair, right, I think it's one of those things that people have to play. You have to play it because it's one of those things that you can explain it all you like, but until you actually experience it, 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 it you just can't put it's it a, into words. It's just kind of like the face I've got now. You're just like, what in the world? But anyway, yeah, I yeah. want to move on to a game that I kind of really enjoy, okay. and that's Bully. Okay? Yes, Because like, let's, let's be frank, okay? Every single person right, has been in this situation in their life mm -hmm, where mm -hmm. they're at school, mm -hmm. there are bullies, there are bad people, there's the kind of love of your life that you're crushed on for mm -hmm, like for mm -hmm. years and years and years. Mm -hmm. In this case, we'll see in a minute. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> yeah. But like, it's... It's, it's a really fun game because it's kind of got a lot of kind of craziness to it as in school because you can kind of do what you want. It's kind of like you can explore, you can get in fist fights like here. It's like it's kind of a fairly normal kind of combat system where you kind of like triple, triple X to do kind of combos mm -hmm. and stuff and like kick. But the really fun thing with it, what I really like, is when you can humiliate someone. Right, oh. so which you are, it, it doesn't make, it make you sound were like a bully. so the bully at school, weren't no, you, Eddie? I'm definitely not a bully. Um, like uh, I was going for now. I'm joking. Uh, but like, but the thing is, it's one of those things that you kind of get them on low health, and then you can humiliate them, which yeah. kind of will mean you kind of like execute them, and then they'll be you sick. execute them. But no, like you know, like in other games, Just you'll take them out. Their head. Like, like there, he's tripped over and falls over, and now yeah. he's like kind of going to be like humiliated for the rest of his life and be Good. scarred. And, take that bully. He's a bully, yeah. right? He's yeah, not, he's yeah, a bully. Yeah. And then you got like obviously the big. The jock the, the over there, people, yeah. who's just knocked our lights out. But it's a, it's a really fun game. There's like loads of collectibles, there's loads of like mini quests, and kind of you can kind of 
make the game more than what it is. Mm. So you know you can always like games where you can just follow the storyline, you can do the main quest, but there's also mm. that, those side quests um, to like kind of help the love of your life or kind of. Maybe like, we could bring her some chocolate. Yeah, like chance. from which we're gonna steal off this nerd <laughs> in the thing. But it, it's genuinely a really, really fun game, and if you just hop on, try it out, it's definitely worth yeah. a go. Gotta um, gotta go back to Rockstar's roots. Yeah, you Rockstar's know? roots. Like yeah. it's, it's Rockstar. When do they make a bad game? Yeah. It's just kind of making me think of Red Dead again. Uh, I, I, I can't. So so soon. Right, so we're going. We're, anyway. we're not really wrong, right? We're kind of like love, love his life. Here's our, here's our here's babe. Here's There's our the babe. chocolates we stole. There we go. Oh, she's loving sort of. them. Yeah, and this is also another thing that's worth talking about. Is the hilarious kind of comments <laughs> and voices in this game. It's hilarious. But yeah, let's, let's mean, move swiftly on. This is frisky. This is. Yeah. It's like. It's like teenage love. Teenage love. Yeah. All right, Bioshock. Now it's the entire trilogy, yeah. which is insane because those are three amazing games. I, th I think Bioshock is one of those games that I really remember from the first time I started playing mm -hmm, games mm -hmm. because the twist. Okay, I'm uh, not going to ruin it for anyone who's not played. Spoiler it, alert! But the twist at the end of the first game just has you like going, "What the hell? How <laughs> is this going?" No, because it, it, it kind of. I'm, I'm, I don't want to ruin it for anyone, mm -hmm. but it's just one of those things that. And if you've watched it, like, let us know in the comments as well because it's one of those things that you just look back on and it is one of those kind of jaw dropping moments mm -hmm, that. Mm -hmm. I can only really remember having it in like a handful of games. Yeah, and Bioshock yeah. is definitely one. Genuinely twisty, like did not see that coming. It's also quite creepy. I think there's like a theme with these back compact games is there's a lot of very creepy games. Like weird babies. Yeah, climbing. like weird babies chasing you. <laughs> but it's, it's just one of those things that you've got so much to game. It's one of those games I've always hopped on and replayed. One of the things that I really love in Bioshock 1, which is the first in the series, mm -hmm is just how it sets the world in Rapture. Mm. And it just kind of gets carried through. You've got like the big daddies, ah, you've got the little, little sisters. sisters. And it's just, it's a believable world. You can imagine it, at, like, mm. it, it's kind of sad, but you can imagine that actually existing. Mm -hmm. I talk of big sis, like big sisters, big daddies and little, <laughs> little sisters. sisters. Yeah, I, Rapture is one of the most incredible settings, I think, in a game. It's so creepy and just, Oh, it just gets under your skin. Like there, some of the some of the scenes where you're it, like in the darkness and the people are just running out at you. Oh, it makes me like my skin <laughs> crawl thinking about it. It's such a creepy game. I just love the atmosphere. It's incredible. Like I have such fond memories of playing this. Um, I, I was just always think when you play the the little like um, the little puzzles when it's like welcome yeah. to the circus of values. <laughs> like when I think of Bioshock, I think of that that. Voice. That, that is just what you go around. <laughs> like it's also just just from, like kind of like Atlas and all the kind of like little messages. Mm. Mm. That pop up and kind of that, that back history, which is kind of like feels like you're in like the 1950s, 1960s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like it's like Art Deco creepy. Bleh. It's it's just a really fun game, which I love, and it's also made me also always think like it'd be incredible to experience in VR. Yeah, like can you just imagine? kind of being wrapped in, like being the big daddy in like Bioshock 2, and just kind of like looking around and exploring the world like that. Yeah, because Bioshock 2 took a completely different sort of turn, didn't it, in yeah. terms of who you play. So you're a big daddy. Yeah, you, you are the big daddy. You kind of explore and kind of like experience the game a lot differently. And there's this amazing scene where the kind of glass breaks and all comes flooding oh. through and then you're underwater. And obviously, right, if you if you are who you are in Bioshock 1 and like kind of infinite, right, you'd be quite dead. You'd be right. a bit drowned. <laughs> uh, but, it, but it's really cool to experience like when you've kind of like seen the big daddies in the first game and like mm. oh, these are the bad guys. Mm -hmm. So actually being the big daddy. Yeah, I love it uh, when when sort of like a little twist like that, like playing the bad guy after but going the, against the bad guy. That's the thing, the game Bioshock, for, for, for those of you who haven't played it, is filled with twists. It's an incredible story, really fun combat. There's so much mm -hmm. depth to it as well, like the plasmids mm -hmm, and all that mm -hmm. sort of stuff as well. There's loads for you to find, to try out. And one last thing, obviously you've got Infinite as well, which is really cool because they change the whole setting, the whole style, you know, it's more kind of colonial steampunk. It's very different to the sort of art deco creepiness of, of Bioshock. It's, 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 it seems a bit brighter. Yeah, it's a lot brighter. It's a lot more overground and airy uh, and breezy. And, so, <laughs> and also a little bit more graphic. Yeah, like, oh so, God, so yeah. The kills, but, yeah. It's an awesome game. It's a lot of fun. Like, I, I just, one of those games I just remember playing a lot. Mm -hmm. Give it a go. You've got three whole games and you will not be disappointed. Yeah. It's one of those must plays. 
Um, and it, it, it gets kind of better as it goes on. I guarantee if you try the first one, you'll, you will end up playing all three without a doubt. The series is so strong. Like if it's on your, your shame list, you know those games that you're like, oh, I really need to play those. What, and if Bioshock's on that list, you need to get on on the trilogy like now. Just yeah. right now. Just yeah. do it right now. <laughs> and, and it's your chance because it's now available and back on Pat, so you can play it on your Xbox One. You don't have to go and get your 360 out. Give it a go. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right, next up, Injustice Gods Among Us. Now, obviously, this game is going to be incredible if you're a fighting game fan mm -hmm. and you also love the DC comic book universe as well, because it's got Perfect. Batman, it's got Joker, it has like all kind of famous things like Superman, kind of Deathstroke, loads Bane. of characters from that world. Bane, mm -hmm, obviously, mm -hmm. loads of characters from that universe. And obviously, they're made, it's made by the same people who made Mortal Kombat, which is kind of like one, of, in my opinion, one of the best fighting games of all time. And, Pass, and we, we all know why though, don't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> it's unsayable. It passed me because all I ever think about when I think of Mortal Kombat <laughs> is those fatalities. And also that really annoying achievement where you've got to kind of mash your aim button as quickly as you uh, can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, to kind of like break everything. It just, it just makes me think of that voice going like, finish him. Finish him. <laughs> but sadly, sad, there, there, there isn't a fatalities in, in, in Injustice. No. It's kind of, they're called super moves instead. Mm -hmm. um, like for example, one of the really cool ones in this is like with Batman where he comes in and the Batmobile will just come in and take out the enemy, which is pretty cool. That is, that is pretty damn awesome. Um, I, I, what I think I love about this game is that it is a brand new storyline. So it's not just been taken from a, a graphic novel or, yeah. or some kind of previously done storyline. It's brand new and it's got a cool twist on it because Superman is a bad guy. How can Superman I'm... be a bad guy? I'm sorry, like if Superman was a bad guy, we'd be all screwed. Yeah, like that'd be the end for us, basically. But yeah, so <laughs> so it's proper Batman versus Superman kind of style here, in the sense that yeah, he's he's not the good guy. He's, he, they're they're on the opposite teams. So but yeah, there's a nice little twist for any kind of uh, DC fans out there as well, which is nice. Like I also quite like Deathstroke Super Move as well, where he just completely obliterates the enemy. Like, I think that's one of the things I've got this thing with fighting games. If it's something to do with a super move or fatality, right, I'm, I'm all for it because it's you just suddenly go like, oh my god, <laughs> I feel like a total badass. But like, it's one of those games, hop on. If you like fighting games, you'll mm -hmm. love this game, especially with the DC comic book universe around it. It's a, well, it's a, it's a great addition. It's a lot of fun. Totally. So there we have it guys, just some of our favorite games available on Back and Pat. Let's know what you've been playing in the comments below. And also if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future content. And don't forget to smash that like button if you enjoyed this video and check out last month's Back and Pat video whilst you're at it. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.